Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I don't know if you saw the video where I did a sketching of a horse, well this is that painting here. But obviously I kept adding and then I didn't like it so then I had to add more and keep adding and I just completely changed it and now I'm doing a painting with pattern. Pattern is any time you repeat shape, form, or color, things like that line. So uh, I've been doing a mixed media painting, I've been using acrylic paints, but then I also discovered uh, these Sharpies that I bought at Hobby Lobby and it's easier to do all this design because you don't have to paint it out and then I'm gonna try these other ones that I bought at uh, Hobby Lobby they're by Treehouse Studios I don't know if you can see these um, $12.99 I think and then these so I'm gonna try these to see how they work that way like when you're making paintings like this you don't have to wait so long. I mean, it doesn't take as long because you're not using a brush and things like that. I think what takes longer is to getting the paint to float the tip. So I don't know if you can really tell, but it's a horse scratching his head. It's a little bit abstracted. Oh, this takes forever. <laughs> I wonder if this is gonna give me muscles. No color yet. Oh my god, it's still not working. There it comes. Woohoo! Finally. So I'm gonna just add little dots with this green around the flowers. Does that work? Oh yeah. So these are really cool. Cause I don't have to paint all the pattern like I was. This will allow me to finish, to work faster, cover more space. Yeah, I'm so glad I discovered these. Oh, I think I'm dripping green paint everywhere. All right. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna try this blue one. I already added all the green that I wanted to add. My eyes are gonna be so buff by the end of this. There we go. I need more blue in the sky so it looks more like the sky. If you didn't know already, blue is my favorite color. So if you didn't see the video on how I did this with uh, the sketch painting, I'll leave the link below in the box. It looks so different now. It's like a completely different painting. I like to add things on the side too, so when you see the painting and you happen to catch the side of it, you can see that the painting continues. I don't like it when it's just left white. I think that's being lazy. So then just add any type of pattern that you like. I like to add just lines and circles because those are the easier ones to add. So now I'm going to use this red and it's already, there I go again, it's already ready to go. I want this to be very, very vibrant and I think I'm achieving just that. The colors are very rich, full of life. I feel like it has a lot of color, but it can always use a little more. I like the way the red looks on the teal. This is a little bit inspired by Gustav Klimt and like the whole repetition he did with pattern and his pattern. I think his stuff was very great, obviously. I will only hope to be as good as he once was. It is just so easy, you could never work this fast with the regular paintbrush. Because you always have to go back and reload and things like that. Yellow. Yellow is a color that you will always see in my paintings. I love, and that's usually the paint, the color I start first when making a painting. Is yellow. I love yellow. All right, now I'm gonna try these ones. Hopefully, these are easier to easier for the paint to come out because the other ones took forever. Ooh, what color should I use? I'm gonna start with orange because I don't have orange in there. These have a much finer tip than the other ones. There it goes. Oh, this is really bright. I love, love, love it. Wow, these colors are very vibrant. I prefer these over the other ones. These are so pretty. I'm in love. And it looks even better against the black. <laughs> well, I went ahead and uh, finished it with the markers and in conclusion, the Sharpies are the way better option. They're a little bit more expensive. Um, but these are not anywhere as good as the Sharpie brand. So if you're gonna do this, I recommend you buy the Sharpie. You're gonna pay the extra. What? These were 12, these were 17 or 19. Like $5 more, but it's completely worth worth it. 
and now this is finished. I know you can't really tell what it is very good because of the background I have, so I'm gonna switch it to another wall so you can really take a look at it. All right, so here it is on a white wall. I think it's really cool, you know, how it's full of pattern. It really does look like a horse, I think, or maybe that's because I painted it, I see the horse. But tell me what you think. Do you think it looks like a horse? Does it look nothing like a horse? What did you think of this technique? Using pattern and using these Sharpie markers that I love. Leave your comments below. Watch the other content in my channel and subscribe, of course. Until next time. Adios y bye.